If you thought gaming wasn't mainstream, think again. Console makers are vying to get the whole family bitten by the gaming bug. Yes, 2011 is expected to be the year the controller went away and mom and dad came into play. This year has really seen the rise to prominence of of more than one company doing family orientated gaming. It's a real trend that we're seeing breaking out at the moment. And Nintendo have had the monopoly on this market for a while and we're seeing with the launch of Xbox's Kinect that now that there's no controller, anyone can use it. It's, that's the basis of it is that the controller has always been an obstacle for people, for family members that you hand a game to or anything like that. Microsoft isn't alone in removing obstacles to unique gaming experiences. The Xbox 360's rival, Sony's PlayStation 3, has a device of its own, the Move. The Move uses two glowing wands to precisely track the user's movements on screen. And while it still uses handheld wands to control the action, the on-screen experience is much different. You don't have to render a controller, you could render something like a sword here, like in my other hand. So this controller has a sword rendered, this one has a controller change it have two swords which is much more fun the rise of social networking has also helped turn consumers attention toward gaming rain says the popularity hasn't gone unnoticed a corporate level facebook are placing more emphasis on it you look at google's investment in zynga and and their games with the producers of farmville and they've clearly got a hold of of people and they have an audience and they're, they're always going to be used and if there was any doubt that gaming hasn't hit the big time, consider this. Activision's Call of Duty Black Ops smashed sales records by raking in $360 million in its first day. That beats the box office sales of the biggest Hollywood blockbusters such as Avatar over their entire opening weekend. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.